The key evidence is this amateur videotape. It shows L.A. Sheriff's deputies swinging away with their nightsticks after they were called to the home of a Samoan family in Cerritos when a bridal shower party got out of hand. Deputies say they were confronted by dozens of large people, including 350-pound Emily Dole, a wrestler who goes by the professional name of Mount Fiji, seen standing here in the street. The tape was shot on February 11, 1989, two years before anyone but his family knew who Rodney King was. And the outcome in the assault trial of three young Samoan men will likely be decided by the jury's perceptions of it. That became clear as defense attorney Garo Mardorosian presented closing arguments today. The camera doesn't blink. The camera doesn't forget. What the tape shows is something that can't be refuted. The three men on trial are charged with attacking sheriff's deputies using rocks in this slab of brick denting their riot helmets and causing numerous injuries. Prosecutors say that's the big difference from the Rodney King case. But defense attorneys argue that the similarities are unmistakable. Police brutality, a cover-up and code of silence, even racist remarks. They called my clients things like coconut head, things like, are you a Buddha head, are you a coconut head, uh, you big Simone cow. There is one other similarity to the Rodney King affair. The incident here in Cerritos also touched off public protests, although on a much smaller scale, about the way law enforcement officers treat minorities. The focus in this case was the county's 60,000 member Samoan community. Rodney King's name came up in court today when prosecutor Kevin Young closed his case by warning the jury not to be fooled by phony comparisons. Now according to the party goers, there was never any force used by them. They were compliant whenever the officers asked them to get down and they were just plain beaten by the officers. All of Rodney King. But outside court, Young admitted it's hard to get the jury to focus on the case at hand with the constant presence of the tape and the air of police brutality in the age of Rodney King. In Norwalk, I'm Dave Bryan.